The spell work question is over probability. It says Mike has a stack of 10 cards and they're numbered 1 to 10. He randomly chooses two cards without replacing the first card. What is the probability Mike would pick two cards that are prime numbers? Okay, so the first thing is we have the numbers 1 through 10. And I ran out of room, so let's move those. And they're still too big. There we go. Okay, then we need to know that a prime number, what is the meaning of a prime number? Before we go start trying to choose. Okay, so a prime number only has two factors and they must be different numbers okay that's the main definition so now when I go back up and I look at these numbers and I test this out Number one, the only way to make one, its factors are one times one. Okay, those aren't two different factors. To get two, I could do two times one, but then there's nothing else. Okay, so this does have two different factors, so that one counts. Then for three, I can only do three times one. Okay, so that counts. When I get to four, I could do four times one, but I could also do two times two. So now this shows me that I have way more than just two different factors. I actually have three factors. Okay, on number five, you could do five times one, but then there's nothing else that makes five. So that works. Then for six, you can do six times one, but then you can also do three times two. So that's too many numbers. Number seven, seven times one, and there's no other way to make seven. So this shows me that I just have two separate factors, so that counts. Then eight, we can do eight times one, and then you can do four times two. So that has more than two factors. Then nine, nine times one, and then three times three. So that has just barely over, so that doesn't work. And then 10 has 10 times one, and then five times two. So that also now says too many numbers. So the ones with check marks, a two, a three, a five, and a seven. So to fit that, if I want to say my probability of getting a prime number over the total, um, and then I want to times it and multiply again because I have to get another prime number, but I'm going to keep the first one. So the first time I have four numbers that are prime out of 10, then I'm going to keep one. So if I kept one, now I would have only three left to choose from out of nine. Then I would multiply these two fractions together. And four times three is 12. And nine times 10 is 90. 12 over 90. That does not look like that is an answer choice. So that means this could be simplified. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Um, I could divide these um, for sure by three. 12 divided by three is four, and 90 divided by three is 30. Okay, that's still even, so let me divide it by two one more time. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 
and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So my final answer should be 2 over 15, which is answer choice A.